Yo, what's up? It's Petrowski. This should be the first clip slash first part of episode three of UIM Post Max Progress. Um, it's the morning of, you know, the day after day four of Zoltano. So day five, but not actually day five because I'm not actually doing Zoltano anymore. <clears throat> but I've just woken up, um, went to Hispori, suicide in my bag. And I'm just looking around, see what I'm going to do, figuring things out. I'm going to grab Max Cape for sure, for teleport, so I need to unlock my stuff. Of course, of course. But first things first, we're going to start dealing with supplies. So I think I'm going to deal with the Runite bars and the Onyx bolt tips. I'm going to smith as many of these as I need into the, um, what is it? The crossbow bolts or whatever. Um, yeah. And I'll make those into Onyx bolt tips and out them. So it's it's worth so much. So I think the LPs alone is only like it's only like 600 GP each to LPs. Then like the actual Onyx bolts are like 8k each. So it's super worth it to take the time to do that, of course. So I'll see you guys then when I start making some actual progress. Good morning though. Hope you're having a great day. Thanks for watching. Yo, I just finished smithing and alting all of the rune. Made all of the loose bars into plate bodies and out those for like 39 or 38k a piece, whatever they were. And then all of the onyx bolt tips for around 8k each. And it came out to 4. Point, this is funny. Yeah, 4, 420k exactly. Didn't even notice that until just now. Jesus. Whew, but that's okay. On to uh, Mithril bars now. This is definitely like the biggest chunk of it, I think. Mithril bars? Maybe equal or something i'm not sure we'll see we can just test it that's all, all we're gonna do is smith it and test it so see you guys when i'm done with all the mithril bars i'll be smithing all of these into play bodies and alchemies as well so thanks for watching yo 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 on the last bit of the mithril bars um be smithing these and i think we're moving on to i guess we won't be moving on to i think the next bars is just steel bars and I don't think I'll be moving on to those, and I'll explain more about that in a sec, but we did, how much GP did we reach? We started this at, what, 4 mil, 420k, right? That was the, the starting point, so we gained, what, like 3, 3 mil and 400, 400 more K, 420 more K, something like that. Um, that's pretty sick. It was, honestly, um, it took, it was way faster than I thought it was to smith all of the mithril bars. I mean, I counted it wrong at first, and I thought it was going to be like seven hours, but it was actually only like two or three. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. No, it was like pretty comfy uh, stuff, and I was just like hanging out over the weekend, like hanging out with some friends and stuff, just like casually playing on mobile, smithing some bars, making some progress. It's been a lot of fun. Um, I do want to go check my Hospori, and I think, so if I were to keep on smithing, I think the only next logical option, or the only next option really is, uh, I guess I have gold ore too. I have all these ores to deal with, yeah. Um, which I'm not sure what I'll do with the ores yet. I think the mithril and the addy I just end up selling, but I'm not sure to which shop and for what for. I don't know if I want to do it for um, the Tazar money or uh, just like coins. Um, we'll see. I remember the first time I did this, I feel like I sold them and bought like obsidian armor or something. Or I think that was helpful towards that, but I don't, I'm not sure. I don't remember too well. But for in terms of steel bars, in terms of what I'm doing next, I, I the only thing I, I might deal with these runite ores. I might um, buy coal and superheat these into runite bars and deal with those. That that might be the one thing that I do do. Um, but other than that, this might sound crazy, but I might just head right back to Zolcano. <laughs> the reason being, um, I found a plugin on RuneLite that is called like probability calculator and I don't know so I'm not super good with math I don't know if this is correct but I think this is the correct drop rate for one out of 200 for tool seed and that's my current kill count and I have zero tool seeds gathered so my chance of getting zero tool seeds if this if this is all this math is correct I'm not super good with this I know this is like a binomial thing I'm pretty sure but I'm you know not a you know not a math dude um two 0.85 percent chance to be this dry for my tool seed and if i bump this number up if i just do like 80 more kills and bump it up to 800 it goes down a whole nother percent so like i know it sounds dumb but i don't know this is like this calculator has like really really motivated me to go do like 90 more kills and just give it another shot knock it down by one more percent and then if i'm still that unlucky then fair enough so i did just use all these bars i got some more gp i like you know used out some resources 
but I think I am just going to go head back to Zoltino. Um, at least soon. I might hang out and chill, do something. might do the Runor over the weekend and do some more chill activities on the weekends. Usually I play a lot less and hang out with friends on the weekends, you know, take it easy. Um, other than that, we'll see. In the next clip you'll either see, I'll either be clearing out the Runai door, clearing out something in my inventory, or I might just be straight back at Zoltano, man. That tool seat is just narrowly escaping my grasp, and I want to I wanna take control of it. So thanks for watching, as always. See you guys in the next one. Okay, yo, yo, yo. I'm back at Zoltano. As you can see, I haven't started any kills yet. I just wanted to give a quick update. I am back at Zoltano. Uh, due to be, like, my thought process being, I just want to get cold drops to be able to deal with the Runite Ore a lot easier as opposed to buying coal from the Blast Furnace shop. I'm also just super sick of the Blast Furnace like atmosphere. I, I hate being in that place. I hate Blast Furnace. I hate everything about it. So I'm going to do some more Zoltano. Hopefully get some cold drops. Hopefully get the tool seed. And yeah, we'll deal with it then. Thanks for watching. See ya, see ya. Well, it finally happened. I died in Zoltano. <laughs> Unlucky. I'm actually dog sitting with my girlfriend, but she's away for a sec, and I was trying to. Oh, well, I didn't know it actually all spawned out here. That's cool. Um, I was trying to actually take a picture of the dog we're watching and send it to her, and I died. So honestly, it was a worthwhile cause. But that's you know the first death after coming back to it. Also, you guys don't even know that I'm back in Zolcano, or you kind of do, but you kind of don't. Um, I've done 19 kills here back at the Zolcano grind, but that's. Honestly, it's bound to happen. Um, the fact that it has only happened once after, like, you know, however many hundred KC. Um, you know what? I, I die a lot, so it's pretty lucky. I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, you know what? No worries. See you guys when I get a drop or probably 750 KC or a drop, so see you then. Yo, ho, 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 ho. what's up? Um, 751 KC coming in. I was going to make a clip at 750 KC, and then I forgot that I was going to do one at 751, and then I forgot that, and now I'm just on kill 752, and we're just chugging through it, so just want to make a small clip, show the progress. Um, I can actually slide over. Oh, I can't do that one. One sec. Show the loot that I have so far. Okay. Here's a small loot so far. I have, so what is it, 41 Zolcano kills? Yeah, 41 Zolcano kills so far, back on the grind. Um, see you with anything important. Hopefully something important soon. I don't know. Have a good day though. Yo, I just got 101 mining virtual level right at the end of the kill. So I was able to whip up uh, my recorder and like record that right before. I was such a really, really lucky. The fact that I got the perfect exact amount of XP at the very last mine, like the end of the, the last kill, that was crazy. It was at KC 755. That was really lucky. I totally would have missed it. Uh, which I, I like recording uh, virtual levels, you know, they're cool, they're like, for those who don't know, the virtual level is the level that would have been the correct amount of XP after 99, if that makes sense, like, it, it would have been the, you know, quote-unquote virtual level, like the next level if the developers, if Jagex, like, wanted to make those levels in the game. That was a horrible explanation, but, you know, I'm not good for that, I'm good at playing RuneScape, so, <laughs> thanks for watching, I'm gonna go back to Guild of Volcano, much love. Well, I just died again. <laughs> it's funny how I went um, the first like couple hundred kills like with no deaths, and then I come back to do Zolcano, and I've been here for 47 kills, and I've died twice. <sighs> Clearly, I've just lost my touch, washed up, not as good anymore, untalented gamer, but that's okay. We'll just, I'm going the wrong place. <laughs> that's okay. I'll just fix myself up, get a bag, and get back to it. See you soon. Yo, another also cute, relevant milestone. I hit 30 million GP, which I think I started this grind at, like, I think I checked earlier, like, 15 million GP. So getting getting 15 million GP when I haven't even used up all the resources, like, I haven't touched any of my ores from the entire grind, um, it's crazy. That's, wow. F 15 mil from that is really, really nice. It's like, it's like 15 mil made in, like, basically four to five days um yeah that's nuts happy to see it happy to rebuild so much gp so quickly especially after being so drained of gp like when i maxed i literally had like zero gp goldsmithing just utterly milked the last bit of gold out of me but the rebuild has been strong so happy to see all that all that progress post max yo what's up 
Believe it or not, this went pretty quickly actually. Um, maybe Stockholm Syndrome is just setting in. I'm not really sure, but there's kill 800. Um, yeah, I am just still no tool seed. I don't know if I'll keep going or not. Uh, I don't know where to go from here. But yeah, you'll just have to find out in the next clip. I have no idea what I'm doing. Thanks for watching though. Yo, I'm actually not sure what KC this will be, but this was a solo Zoltino because I decided that I wanted to do one big fat, only 17 diamonds, that's actually a really low roll, really low uh, drop for a solo, that's okay. I wanted to do, just, yeah, so 816 KC, I wanted to just do one fat um, solo Zoltano because I have decided uh, I hate this place. Oh, I mean, I'm, I'm done with this place. No, I'm, I'm pretty sick of Zoltano, I have a fat stack of shards. Uh, plenty of supplies, no tool seed. Although, um, I have been doing a bit of research of Zoltino and like how the drops work on the wiki and stuff, and I could just be baby rage way more than needed. So, this is a different calc that I ran, being if, um, so if, I think this is how it works, but maybe I could be wrong. I've, I've read through a couple different singular Reddit threads and um, the Zoltano wiki page, but if um it works how basically like you see the seat the tool drop the tool the crystal tool seed and it still counts as like receiving the drop um as i feel like the one out of 200 rate then i have seen two crystal tool seeds um throughout my 816 volcanoes i've seen two other people get them besides me so if it counts as which i think is true because i think the volcano can only drop one tool seed per kill although i could be wrong which, if that's the case, then it can only go to one player. So if that's the case, like, the tool seeds you've seen... All the tool seeds you've seen count towards that 1 out of 200, which is rough because it ends up meaning that if you average doing, like, four mans or whatever, like, 800 KC is actually the average to see one tool seed. Um, so I should be pretty close. Ugh, that only motivates me to go more. But I'm, <laughs> but I'm so sick of this place. I want to at least... Go do something turbo AFK, turbo brain dead, turbo chill for a little bit. Um, I'm probably going to do like Redwoods and in, in Flex the Lords or something, or Motherload Mine. Or, I want to do something turbo brain dead for a little bit, so that'll be the goal from this point forward. This might be towards the end of the this progress video, but we'll see. Um, thanks for watching as always, and much love. Yo, what's up? I'm just going to be using up supplies here for a sec as I uh, talk about like how silly I guess this um this video has felt <laughs> to where I'm just like, I can't believe I went back to Zolcano. It's, this video has just been like a mixture of Stockholm Syndrome for Zolcano, uh, tied along with like the gambler's fallacy, to where I'm like, oh, I'm like this many kills, like I'm like so close to getting it right. And it's just like, this whole video has just been like, I don't know, such a silly and funny process to me where I'm like back at Zolcano, trying to grind this, I'm like, oh, this is miserable, I'm like not enjoying it somewhat at this point, and I'm just like, let me get back on track, let me get back to doing what I want to do, let me get back to playing RuneScape, let me get back to playing RuneScape my way, and my way is AFK and hard as hell, just, uh, you know, cutting redwoods watching an anime, you know, like that's the life, right? Um so I want to get back to that, you know? That's <clears throat> that's about it. That's the long story short. That's the shmeem. That's the the whole kit in caboodle. So I'm just going to try to get back to that next video. Thanks for watching. Much love as always. Have a wonderful day. Okay, 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 okay. I think finally figure out what I'm moving on to, but moving on to I'll be moving on to this next video. This should be the last clip or, or so of this progress video. But next video and next chapter, I want to start moving on to just dealing with resources, dealing with um you know obviously the resources from Zoltano that I have gathered up, um Smith Rune Ore and Rune Bars, selling the Myth Ore and Addy Ore most likely using the coal for the Rune Ore. Um, I'll be saving the gold ore for now. I won't be using this probably. So I'll, I'll get more gold ore through Slayer and such, which I plan to do for sure at some point in the soon future, most likely. Um, I do want to deal with these herbs though, which these herbs I've kind of been slacking on and um, letting sit around for a while. I want to deal. I want to start doing. I want to get back into herb lore. That's what I want to do. I want to deal with these herbs, do stuff with that, and then maybe tackle one of these huge 
huge uh, seed stacks. That's that's like what's got me motivated, what's got me excited, what's got me happy, and what's got me like you know enjoying the game again is is thinking about tackling a huge herb seed stack. How fucked up is that? But that sounds fun to me, so I'm excited to you know have fun, do that, and tackle that and play the game that way. So. See you guys next episode when I'll be fucking chilling with herbs. Although all of this is subject to change. But, you know, much love. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. If you've watched to this point, I don't think many people do. That is, like, leaves me speechless, you know. It's truly incredible. Um, I can't thank you enough. Like, literally. Thank you so much. Have a great day.